Hello friends, welcome back. On, in my previous two videos, we have seen how we can handle a cost minimization transportation problem using Excel Solver. Now let us switch our focus from a cost minimization transportation problem into a profit maximization transportation problem. In the cost minimization transportation problem, we were given the unit cost of transportation. In, in the profit maximization transportation problem, instead of the unit cost, will be given the unit profit. Now, I have taken an example of a profit maximization transportation problem of six supply points and five demand centers. The number over here represents the unit profit. For example, this 11 is representing the amount of money that will be getting as profit we transport one unit from S2 to D1. The same applies to the remaining numbers. These are the available supply to the six supply points and these are the requirement at the five demand centers. Now, if we happen to solve this problem manually, then we should be applying any of these three methods to find out the initial basic feasible solutions. But all this method can handle only a cost minimization transportation problem. It cannot directly handle a profit maximization transportation problem. So what is the way out? The way, the way out was to convert a profit maximization transportation problem into another table or another matrix called the opportunity loss matrix. Then apply this method to find out initial feasible solutions. And then finally come down to the optimal solutions either by using the body method or the stepping stone method. This was what we had done using manually. But when we try to solve such a problem using MS Excel solver, we don't need to convert this into opportunity loss matrix because MS Excel solver uses simplex formulation of the transportation problem. In the simplex formulations, we can directly maximize the problem. Now let's try to see how we solve this problem using MS Excel solver. Now let me construct the solution space for this. So this is the solution space. This is the solution space that we have. Oh, yeah, before we do the before we start solving this one, let us find out whether the given transportation problem is a balanced transportation problem or an unbalanced transportation problem. For that, we find out the total supply and total uh, demand. See over here, the total supply is not equaling the total demand, and hence the given transportation problem is an unbalanced transportation problem. Now the total supply is more than the total supply. A total supply is more than the total demand, which implies some of the supply will not be transported to the various demand center. Now let's come down to the solution space that we've created. This is the place where the values of the variable will come. This is where I'll be writing the left hand side of the supply constraints. This is where I'll be writing the left hand side of the demand constraints. Let me write down the left hand side of the supply constraint. Now, the first sub left hand side of the supply constant will be the sum of the first row of the, uh, the space that you have created over here. Now, apply the formula to the remaining rows so that all the left hand side of the supply constraints are created. Now, since the total supply was more than the total demand, the relation in the supply constraints will be all less than or equal to. Now similarly, we create the left hand side of the demand constraint. Some of the elements of the some of the elements of the first column apply the same to the remaining columns. And the relation for the demand constraint is equality. Now we also create a space to find out the maximum maximum profit of transportations, which is the sum product of the solution space that you've created. We have created and the given unit profit matrix. Now it's done. Now let's go to the solver and find out the solution. Uh, this is the solver. Uh, 
reset all uh, this is the space for the objective function set objective the objective over here is maximization we have not contains into the minimum uh, the opportunity loss matrix so it's the objective remains the same by changing the variable cell that you we have created over here at the constraints the left hand side of the supply constraints the relation is less than equal to now the right hand side eight similarly the left hand side of demand constraints the relation will be equality the right hand side okay max your the, the non-negativity condition is check select the simplex from here click solve now see the solver found a solution all the constant and optimality conditions are satisfied and hence we come out this is the final optimum solutions this is the maximum possible profit that you can generate using this solution and hence the given profit maximization transportation problem can be easily solved using solver in this manner now let's see the other approach in the other approach instead of solving the instead of solving the profit maximization transportation problem let, let me convert this into a different matrix called an opportunity loss matrix so how to convert this opportunity loss matrix for that we find out the maximum uh, profit from the profit uh, from the uh, profit matrix given to us for that what we do is what we do is we select we find out the maximum element of this matrix which happens to be 29 then let's create a matrix over here this matrix will be called an opportunity loss matrix opportunity loss matrix matrix how is this matrix going to be created now what was the high what was the largest pro unit profit that you had is 29 minus select the whole matrix then press control shift and enter the whole matrix is created now <clears throat> so what is this 17 -0 thing this seven is the difference between the highest number and the number over here and this will denote the opportunity loss that you'll be having of not selecting 29 and selecting 20 22 and similarly the same applies to the other number and this is a new matrix which represents the opportunity loss of selecting the the, the uh, various cell over here instead of selecting 29 the other other numbers remain the same so supply remains the same and demand remains the same now let's apply the transportation on this matrix instead of the given matrix so let me create the solution space as we've done in the previous case this is the solution space this will be the left hand side constraint so the left hand side constraint is a sum uh, the first left hand side constraint is the sum of this cell over here and the supply remains the same relation is less than or equal to because the total supply was more than the total demand similarly the other numbers now over here we are now creating the total minimum opportunity cost this will be the sum product of this solution cell and the opportunity matrix the cell the numbers in the opportunity matrix that you have uh, this has been created at the same time let us also find out the total maximum profit profit out of this solution for this what i'll do is i'll use the sum product between the solution space and the original profit matrix 
that we have. This is the original profit matrix that we have, right? Done. Okay. Sorry, sorry, this is not the one. Let me do it again. Some product between the solution space, comma, the original profit matrix we had. This was the original profit matrix that we had. Now it's been selected. Where has this gone? This is the one right there. Yeah, this is done. Now let's go to the solver and find out the solution for this problem. Solver, reset everything. Now let's select the set up in the set objective we are selecting the total minimum opportunity cost and now the objective function is minimization not maximization any longer and the by changing the variable cell of the solution space that you've created plus uh, add the constraints of the supply the left hand side relation is less than equal to and the right hand side Edit the demand constraints, the left hand side, the relation will be equality, and then the right hand side. Okay, and come out. Now, uh, make sure that uh, the variables are non negative, the simplex is selected, and solved. Now, see, the solver found a solution, all the constant and optimality conditions are satisfied. So, let's keep the solution and come out. Now let's compare the two solutions. One, this is obtained using the opportunity loss matrix, and uh, the other one was obtained using the uh, unit profit matrix given to us. Now, if you compare the solution space in the two matrix, the two are same, but the manner in which the two are obtained are totally different. Let's also compare the total profit that we have in this and the pro total profit we have in the other one. Over here is 9399. Over here also is 90399. The two methods, though different, gives the same solution. Hence, a profit maximization transportation problem can also be easily handled using Excel Solver in two different ways. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.